Hi friends, welcome to PlantScienceForYou.com. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about anomalous secondary thickening in Bignonia. And Bignonia, this is a plant, and this plant is a climber. First of all, starting with an introduction about secondary thickening. Secondary thickening is simply growth in thickness of the plant by the activity of two laterally placed meristem, the vascular cambium and the core cambium. Plants are capable of indefinite growth due to the presence of meristems. These meristems include shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem that is involved in growth in length of the plant, whereas growth in thickness is carried out by the activity of vascular cambium and core cambium. Vascular cambium is present at the central region inside the steel, whereas core cambium is present at the cortical region. Both these cambium are responsible for secondary growth in dicot plants. Now what do you mean by anomalous secondary thickening? Any deviation from the normal growth pattern is considered as anomalous. Normal activity of vascular cambium and core cambium results in normal secondary growth. Any deviation from its normal pattern of growth is considered as anomalous secondary thickening. What are the reasons for anomalous secondary thickening? The reasons include unusual position of the cambium, abnormal activity of the cambium, formation of more than one ring of cambium may be on the stellar region or maybe on the extrastellar region and formation of extrastellar cambial ring in the cortical region. Normally only core cambium is present in the cortical region and sometimes many cambium may be present on the cortical region that lead to anomalous secondary thickening. Now moving into the anomalous secondary thickening pattern in Bignonia and this is the transverse section of Bignonia stem and you can see there are four regions or four diagonal points where there is the presence of secondary phloem. Anomalous secondary thickening is due to the abnormal function of cambium in the case of Bignonia. During secondary thickening, the activity of cambium is normal at the beginning, producing more amount of secondary xylem to the inside and less amount of secondary phloem to the outside. But after some time, at four diagonal points, the amount of secondary phloem increases. The production of secondary phloem increases towards outside and less secondary xylem is produced inside at four diagonal points resulting in more amount of secondary phloem compared to secondary xylem. As a result, four deep wedges of phloem masses occurs at four regions. These are the four regions and these regions are supported by sclerotic bands. You can see sclerangamata cells, phloem cells are actually thin walled cells and these are further supported by sclerotic bands. Thus four wedges of secondary phloem intrudes into the secondary xylem. This is a secondary xylem. Four wedges of secondary phloem intrudes into the secondary xylem as seen in this section. Activity of core cambium is normal therefore period of formation is also normal. And this is an enlarged view. This plant is a climber and this sclerotic cells actually adds to the flexibility. The presence of phloem may provide flexibility for the plant to climb and that may be the reason of sclerangyma supported phloem regions that adds to the flexibility of the stem. So in summary, in Bignonia, anomalous secondary thickening is due to the abnormal activity of the cambium. At four diagonal points, more amount of secondary phloem is produced and less amount of secondary xylem is produced. As a result, at the end, there are four phloem regions or secondary phloem regions that intrudes into the xylem and these are supported by sclerotic bands. Hope things are clear. You are with plantscienceforyou.com. Thank you so much for your support.